Hi booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching books I'm not reading. I am here today to share with you my Jane Austen July TBR. Normally I do my TBRs on a quarterly basis, but this year I'll have one just for July and then another one for um, August and September. Um, before I begin with my TBR, um, I did want to say that I got kind of a jump start on Jane Austen July by reading this book, Jane Austen Ruined My Life by Beth Patio. So Jason and I acquired this book from somebody um, in the Christian publishing industry. And this book was actually published by Guideposts, which when I think of Guideposts, I tend to think of sort of inspirational, devotional kind of guides, but definitely Christian. Um, and so I wasn't sure, I, I was really surprised that there's a, a book with a woman in a red slinky dress on the cover um, wearing, it looks like black, black heels, black sandals maybe. Uh, so that gave me a little bit of pause um, before reading this book, but I have to say it was very charming and it was not preachy in any way. There is no mention of Jesus. Um, and I don't know if this is supposed to be a retelling of Emma. It didn't seem like it. Um, but the main character, her name is Emma. And uh, yeah, so it's I actually, and I'm not spoiling anything by telling you this, it actually starts off by her discovering that um, her husband, who's also a professor, um, is having sex with her teaching assistant on their kitchen table. So I was really surprised that Guidepost was willing to go there and 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 say that. Um, but she's since written some other um, Jane Austen spinoffs. I read it, I enjoyed it, but I would love to pass it on to a fellow Janeite who may never have heard of this book. So if you would like this book, please um, leave a comment in the section below. I do have a giveaway that I'll be discussing at the end of the video, but if you would like this book, please let me know in the comment section, and then if we have multiple people, I will do a drawing. Can't guarantee when I will be able to mail this, but I will I will do my best. You probably won't have it in time for Jane Austen July this year, but maybe next year. So I just wanted to start off with that. So Jane Austen July, again, is a month-long celebration of all things Jane Austen, and it is hosted by Katie from Books and Things and uh, Marissa at Blatantly Bookish. There are prompts um, for Jane Austen July, although I think if you just read one of Jane Austen's six novels, um, you are considered to be participating in Jane Austen July. Um, I am not going to do all of the prompts, but I will talk about um, some of them I've, I've tripled, <laughs> I've, I've doubled up on, I've got some extra things in here. So there's plenty. I'm, I feel like I'm very much covering uh, the spirit of Jane Austen July. So of course the first prompt is read one of Jane Austen's six novels. So I am going to read Emma. I realized it's been a very long time since I've read Emma, so it is definitely time to return to this one, and I am super excited about that. The second prompt is read something um, by Jane Austen that is not one of her main novels. Last year I did read Sanditon, the Watsons, and Lady Susan. Um, so I might, um, just for fun, read her uh, History of England that she wrote as a young girl, and uh, if I have time, I will get to that, but this is kind of a low priority compared to the other exciting books on my TBR. Okay, next is uh, read a nonfiction book about Jane Austen or her time. So we actually own three biographies of Jane Austen. The one I... I've chosen to read is um, Jane Austen, A Life by Claire Tomlin, um, which I know many of you have already read or are familiar with. Um, Claire Tomlin also did a biography of Dickens that I have read, but I haven't gotten to this yet. So I will try to get to this in the month of July. Um, and just to show you, we also have this uh, Jane Austen, The Famous Biography by Elizabeth Jenkins. Um, and there's actually a letter inside from uh, 
the author to somebody who helped her with research for, I think, another book. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, anyway, if anybody knows anything about this, I'd love to hear that. And I also have The Real Jane Austen, A Life in Small Things by Paula Byrne. Um, so I have plenty to choose from, um, but I think I'm going to go with the Claire Tomlin book and then we'll see what happens from there. I would love to hear your thoughts on those three books though. Um, number four, a read, a retelling of a Jane Austen book. So this is where I've gotten a little bit crazy. <laughs> so I want to read Longbourn by Joe Baker. Um, this is, of course, a retelling of Pride and Prejudice told from the servants of the household, their perspective. I've heard so many great things uh, from some of you and other people, so I know that I, I feel very confident that I will enjoy this book. I also recent, recently shared with you guys that someone gave me Aisha at Last which is a modern day Muslim retelling of Pride and Prejudice. And this is by Uzma Jalaluddin. Hopefully I said that right. So it is the most beautiful cover. My gosh, I love it. So, <clears throat> and then the next retelling that I want to, that I, I've already actually started it. <laughs> Cheating a bit here. Um, is Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Okay. So, there have been a few kind of horror um, books. <laughs> There's also Sense and Sensibility and Sea Monsters, um, which has a different, aside from Jane Austen, a different co-author. Um, this one is by Jane Austen and Seth Graham Smith. And uh, the Bennett sisters are uh, zombie killers. <laughs> They're called the Unmentionables. And... You know, I really thought like, oh, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of this book. Um and and I could still happen, I suppose, but what I've read so far is so funny and just like the layering of Pride and Prejudice mixed in with this whole zombie situation is just absolutely hysterical. <laughs> so, I mean, you can still feel Pride and Prejudice in the in the book but then there's this whole other element and I am not one to normally read horror I mean look at the cover of that that's crazy but um so far it's been really funny if you if any of you have read this I would love to hear your thoughts on it oh. some bonus books that I'm going to be reading that don't necessarily follow a prompt um I'm gonna try hope, uh, I plan on reading this with Rainy from Rainy Day Reads Among the Jainites A Journey Through the World of Jane Austen Fandom by Deborah Yaffe uh, and so this is just about the world of people who are just like I guess I guess like us um really serious Jane Austen fans and uh, I I think it sounds delightful I think it sounds really fun um this is also part of my uh Curious Adventure TBR for the year so looking forward to that and then I thought just to you know add to the situation <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would read a short story collection, and this is called Dancing with Mr. Darcy. Um, and this is the, um, let's see, part of, it was the Jane Austen short story competition. Um, and it includes the winner and 19 runners up. Um, but the reason we initially got this, in addition to it being all things Jane, um, is that it the it was judged and there's an introduction by Sarah Waters. The last two prompts actually have to do with um, watching films um, that are adaptations of of Jane Austen. Um, one is to to watch a, a film adaptation that's um, set in Jane Austen's time or set in the time of the book. Um, and the other one is to watch a modern retelling. And I have to tell you that I do this all year long. <laughs> so Jane Austen films are definitely go-tos for me. Um, I do have not seen all of the miniseries adaptation of Emma. So um, once I reread it, I plan on watching this. And um, Jason's very excited because he really likes this actress. I think she's cute. <laughs> and 
As far as modern ones, I mean, I suppose I could watch Clueless again, although I've seen it so many times, <laughs> um, which is also um, a, a modern retelling of, that's a modern retelling of uh, Emma. But one film that I just want to recommend to all of you, um, because it is so fantastic and deals with all six Jane Austen novels, is the Jane Austen Book Club. This was a book by Karen Joy Fowler, and I DNF'd the book. I, I did not like it at all, um, which is very disappointing, but this film is absolutely brilliant, and um, there's just so much great stuff in it. So whatever you're watching this month, I really, really recommend, uh, if you can, to find a copy find a copy of this and watch it because it is just sheer delight. Finally, because it's my first Jane Austen July and I just, I'm so, so excited about participating in this, I am going to do a giveaway. So the rules of the giveaway are this, um, anytime between this video and the end of July, if you leave me a comment in the comment section and say, I'd like to enter the giveaway, then I will write your name uh, down and we will have a drawing at the end of the month. Um, so again, I probably won't be able to get it to you. <laughs> um, it may take a while uh, because I have not been to the post office for some time. So um, it's a couple different things. First is a brand new copy. Um, this is the Modern Library Edition. Modern Library Classics of Persuasion. Now I realize that most of you who are watching this, you probably already own all of this, but in case you're trying to get all of one edition or maybe have somebody that you'd like to read this with, um, it has to have a Jane Austen novel in it if it's gonna be a giveaway for Jane Austen July, don't you think? Uh, but to sweeten things a little bit and encourage you a little more, I also have a brand new journal um, uh, it's got a quote from Mansfield Park on the cover. We, we have all a better guide in ourselves if we would attend to it than any other person can be. So there's the journal. It's got a little uh, strap and then it's just lined pages. So, so that will be part of the giveaway. And then I was looking at my collection of things that I uh, brought back from England at one point, and I have the world's smallest portrait there of Jane Austen. This is a card, but you could also frame it if you wanted to. And on the inside, there's a quote from Jane Austen. It says, there are certainly not so many men of large fortune in the world as there are pretty women to deserve them. Isn't that the truth, right? So... So again, if you would like the giveaway, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, just have to comment on any video of mine between now and the end of July and I will I will add I will put your name in a in a hat or something. Um so I'm very excited to do that and also again I just want to reiterate if you would like a copy, um if you would like to own my copy of Jane Austen Ruined My Life. Um, again, please let me know in the comment section of just this video, okay? So that's my DVR and I'm so excited. I will leave links, of course, to Katie and Marissa's announcement videos down below as well as their prompts. Um, they've got a Goodreads group going on. Um, they're doing a read-along of Emma and Pride and Prejudice, so um, be sure to check all that stuff out. Book two, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will talk to you very soon.